to start damning something that just two cheetahs have died, therefore it's not going to work, or the African cheetahs, therefore it's, it's not going to work. I don't subscribe to that. My researches have shown that from 1918, between 1918, that's after the First World War, and around, say, 1948-49, uh, Indian princes imported something like 200 cheetahs uh, from Africa uh, for the sole purpose of taming them and hunting black buck with them. All right? It was a sport. It was a princely sport. It was an imperial sport. It was a sport which has been known through record for over a thousand years and more. Now, these were all African cheetahs which came, right? Like the present 20 that have arrived. Uh, these cheetahs came through after a choppy sea journey of 15 days. There was no uh, medicine like tranquilizers for cats. There was no medicine like antibiotics for cats. They all came to India. They were treated like Indian cheetahs and when they fell ill, they were treated by traditional Indian medicines. So, for me, as far as I'm concerned, if those cheetahs could survive and hunt black buck happily, I see no reason why these cheetahs cannot survive. One cheetah has given birth to four, four, four cubs. Now, if she was traumatized or if she felt uncomfortable in her surroundings, she would not have uh, uh, given birth to four cubs. Also, it's interesting to note that the gestation period for a cheetah for a chiti is about three months. Hmm? Now, this chiti has given birth after three months after she arrived in India. What I'm trying to say is she felt confident enough to mate and conceive the cheetah cubs in India. That's important. In 1984, uh, the, the then president of WWF India, Fateh Singh Rao, wrote a letter to Mrs. Gandhi that why do you want to bring cheetahs from Iran into India? Because India never had cheetahs. The reason was that there was this belief no, that there was no cheetahs in India. Hmm. Therefore, I said, look, it cannot be because we know cheetahs were in India. And that's why I went into the history of cheetahs and located them in classical Greek and Latin uh, sources of 2,000 years ago. Uh, what is now India? Three cheetahs were shot in 1947 December and th that particular report came in 1948. Uh, the last credible cheetah sighting reports I have in India is as late as 1972. So what we have done so far is a very small first step for a very long-term program. So to start damning something that just two cheetahs have died, therefore it's not going to work, or the African cheetahs, therefore it's, it's not going to work, I don't subscribe to that. These 22 cheetahs are not in one enclosure, they are in several different enclosures. In Africa, cheetahs are harassed by hyenas which hunt in packs. Indian hyena or striped hyena is a solitary animal. It does not hunt in pack, okay? And Puno Palpur has no wild dogs, like there are wild dogs in, in Africa. Okay. So they, the cheetahs, in my opinion, have a very good chance of uh, uh, settling down and propagating. And once they start propagating, you radiate them out, take them out to other national parks and sanctuaries, which have been earmarked in the action plan itself. The preservation of lions started in 1879, okay? It was started by the three Nawabs of Junagad. So starting 1879 till today, it's 150 years or more. Today you have 1,000 lions, okay? Let me give you another example. When the Project Tiger started in 1972, 73, 
we had 1,823 tigers or some such figure. Today you have 3,000 tigers plus, 50 years later. So what we have done so far is a very small first step for a very long-term program. The government of Gujarat refused to give lions as early as 1995. At that time, there were no cheetahs being talked of. But the government of Gujarat does not want to part with lions and God knows when it's going to happen. Whether Asiatic lions should move into uh, Kunopal, of course they must. But now that the cheetahs are here, they need to be given time to settle down before a lion is introduced. All right? There's no point. If you introduce land, even when it is still in a boma or just come out of a boma, it can become a, a conflict. But lions and cheetahs have coexisted throughout history. The program itself envisages import of a total number of 40 to 50 cheetahs over a period of next 5 or 10 years. And then once the cheetahs settle down in one uh, national park like Kuno National Park, they should be able to radiate out, of course taken out, into other national parks which have been identified, the, if identified in the uh, original action plan and so on. So I'm sure the government is thinking on those lines.